There we go. Hello, Ski. Hello, comrade. Uh, I'm starving and broke. Little help here, what do you say? Sure. If you are telling me which drink caused major problems in Bay City, America recently. Not that that's a weird question or anything, but the answer's revelation. Oh, thank God you're here. I'm so tired of trying to talk like a Russian. You have any idea how hard it is? Not really. You're about to find out. I got a job for you. Ball's going undercover. Think you can handle it? Depends. What's in it for me? Glory, honor. Yeah, I got nothing. But I want revenge. The snitch who got a friend of mine arrested. He's probably dead by now, but the snitch is still alive. He'll be in the food line somewhere nearby. Okay, we can do this. Alright, let's do this. We gotta be stealthy. Why am I having to wait in line for food? For once, I am wishing we are not all equal, so I could be cutting in front of all these losers! Proletariat workers is science town. They should be feeding scientists. Science town could be developing food pill. Then we are not needing to stand in line. Who am I kidding? It's Soviet Union. We stand in line to die. Am I being right here, people? Hello? Is this thought being on? is being overrun by proletariat wanting food. Why are we not just sharing food pills? I am not knowing. It's so much simpler. I am hating my life. I am so hungry. I am wanting to nibble on ear a person in front of me. Wait, that is not being hunger. Being here. I am knowing I should have been going to the toilet before getting in food line. But how am I knowing would be in line five hours? It's mistake. It's okay. Science Town is nice to be giving out food. I am not knowing scientists are caring about proletariat. like moving glacier do not worry if you're not knowing what glacier is being kids by time you are playing this game there will not be any left
<laughs> Fools! KGB are having special scientist food pills. Incredibly nutritious. <laughs> Ugh, not very appealing. You could at least support. We should not be feeding proletariat. Hungry people are being easier to beat up. Science town is having food lines. Ladling out gruel each day was making helmets stink. Are you getting a new cult and major? I would be feeling guilty for turning over an American spy, for but he was having such nice shoes. Show me scruple which can stand up to warm toskies. Shit. Oh, we got it. We got it. All right. That's good. Oh, there's the landing zone here. Thou obviously canst not land if thy landing zone is bestrewed with drums filled with toxic waste. Get rid of those barrels! Landing zone. Really now, don't take it personally. Landing zone activated. Okay, now where are we? Could get this landing zone down here. Is that like a volcano over here or something? I wonder where the heck that is. Okay, let's go Delta there then. Let's just follow the road, right? Also, there's a secret over there.
Oh shit, it's toxic. Okay, we can't go in there. Okay. Well, I guess we're not gonna go there. Okay, so this area here looks like a crash site of some sort. Something crashed around here, and then made everything here toxic gas. Okay, well, let's go to the mission. Привет, товарищ. How's it hanging? Little to the left. Hey, hey not bad, Goldie. <laughs> so, did you shut down the pumps in the tunnels with those fuel rods? Нет. Too much KGB heat on the tunnels because of the theft. I should have seen it coming. Anyway, it's too dangerous for Sergey and me to infiltrate them now. Well, we gotta shut those pumps down. Whole town smells like Newark. Oh, we will, Crypto. Have no fear. And this time, I want you on the job. I need you to carry a fuel rod into each of the tunnels and place it in the reactor of each of the pumping machines. Sergey and I have hidden a container of fuel rods near each tunnel. Wait, you, you lost me. Didn't you say the tunnel entrances were crawling with KGB? Da. But not while the scientists conduct their weekly radiation tests. Uh, sorry. I was thinking about how it's so cold I can't feel my unit. What's the deal now? Pay attention. I need your help shutting down the pumping machines in the tunnels. Take a fuel rod into each tunnel and place it inside the reactor of each machine. Sergey and I have hidden a fuel rod crate near each of the tunnel entrances. Clear? As 80 proof vodka. No sweat, dollface. Consider those pumps out of order. So we gotta go over there. Oh shit, I have to go inside? 
Okay, I thought I had to go over it. I was wondering why I was taking damage. Okay, there's too much gas over there. for an opening in the machine to stick the fuel rod in. Ought to be able to get that. <laughs> what are you? Excellent work. Now hurry and get out of there before that machine explodes. I 
in this rock here? Yeah, over there. I see it. Okay, he did not spot me. That's good. Okay, this is a pretty fun stealth mission. Just gotta bring it over there. Get an intrude in the lab here. There we go, got it. Thanks. What is this? Oh, this looks pretty nice. I love this. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at those bad boys burn. Hold the what do these freaks want? Wait a minute. Now that I think of it, that machinery looks suspiciously familiar. Oh my. Holy fuckers of Arkboodle! Crypto, do you know who these freaks are? They're not commie cabbage heads. Great galaxies, no! They're not even human! They're the enemy! Our enemy! The enemy we Furons defeated in the Martian War! Crypto! They're Blisk! Blisk? Wait a minute, I, I thought we wiped the Blisk out! I have no explanation! I can barely believe my senses! But a few of them must have somehow survived! Not for long. Attention!
Mission Blisk. I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. And your asses belong to me. You know any place I can get one of those big furry hats? My ears are freezing off. You don't have any ears. See? That's what I'm saying. Tell me about it. You gotta fill me in on this whole blisk thing, Pox. My, my hard drive is spinning. I hardly know where to begin. They're huge, hideous brutes with giant claws and withering halitosis. They have a single hive mind and an imperviousness to radiation. They take to it like a pig to mud. Imagine a cockroach mating with a lobster. Oi, enough already. You're making me queasy. Humans assume the Tunguska blast of 1908 was caused by a meteorite. But now we know its true cause. The fiery crash of a Blisk warship. Listen, I, I skipped most of military history. How'd that war get started, anyway? Millennia ago, Mars was an ocean world, and the Blisk ruled an underwater paradise. Frankly, they were more than a little cocky about it. The war was long and bitter, but in the end, we reduced their world to desert and wiped them out! Or so we thought. We obliterated most of their warships, the one we could not account for. We assumed it had been destroyed, but it must have been merely disabled and drifted helplessly through space until it crash-landed here on Earth. And I'm guessing the Krabbies ain't the forgiven type. After what we did to them, not bloody likely. Yeah, well, don't you worry your virtual little head, Pox. This time they're going down for good. A bold statement. Many Furons fell thanks to the Blisk. And there's another problem. Since the war, the Furon defense budget has been... ...downsized. I fear that most of our current weapons will be ineffective against the Blisk. Downsize the defense budget? What the hell the Emperor do that for? The Blisk were exterminated. No one else posed such a lethal threat. We didn't need the big guns. But none of us saw this coming. Okay, well, at least we know what we're up against. What do you want me to do? I'll contact you with new orders as soon as I have some idea what's going on. Until then, just... don't do anything rash. Rash me? Nah, I got a cream for that. Cleared it right up. 
only our mothership was still intact. Its archived data on the disk might have helped me develop weapons upgrades capable of cracking those shells. But that data is irretrievable now. Oh, the Furology! The Moscow Tribune. Kulig discovers new breed of lobster. And Kulig found more than he was looking for when he arrived in Tunguska three months ago. I was hoping to discover the cause of a peculiar explosion 19 years ago, Kulik said. Instead, I'm left with more questions than answers. Kulik returned. According to Kulik, the locals referred to these crudescenes as bliski. In any case, they were totally incredible. Yeah, Bob did a little Yeti. Ask about the Yeti reports. So I hear you're the one to talk to about this so-called Yeti report. What you got for me? You are really wanting to know? Then be pulling up a snowdrift, and I am telling you all about it. You think this Yeti's a real flesh and blood critter, then? Of course not. I'm not being stupid. It's not Yeti. No. No! It's giant mutant from research facility coming to devour Rosolsky! I can see why you're a hermit. Not that I don't believe you. It's all those other morons who don't see the truth, right? Da, but if we are having carcass of mutants, then we are having proof. And metal, maybe. Okay. I'm off to hunt a mysterious, deadly creature in the deep, dark woods on the word of an old man with a bum leg and questionable hygiene. I miss anything? Yet. Udachi! So I gotta find this thing and drag its dead carcass to your door, is that it? Da, now you're needing to know how to get him into forest, da? Be following me. It wouldn't be that big bunch of trees over there, would... Uh, okay, lead on, Mekdoff. It's easy to be finding Yeti. Just be following trail of dead body. Scientists are having field day with this thing. I will taking it to KGB right away. I am needing you to be dropping corpse outside hut. Then leaving. Do not be forgetting leaving. Very important. It's not necessary to share everything. Find the Yeti. Alright, gotta find a Yeti. Yeti should be this way, eh? Having 
clearance for flying. Come on, Yeti. Where are you? Where are you, Yeti? Where the heck is the Yeti? Oh, what the heck? That guy flew pretty high. Got him. Still two more monsters here, right? There's still one left somewhere. I don't think it's some. Oh, there he is. Go, all the Yetis are done. You are doing it! Most impressive! I am not knowing. KGB must be knowing of this! They will be happy to help. Go, got a Yeti's head. Oh my god, no, poor old man, all we did was help him with a yeti, aww. Let's do, oh red scythe, yeah this one looks pretty cool.
Oh, don't you look shiny. Hey there, Ivan. Things must be looking up, eh? You, you got a promotion or something? Da, yesterday I am making Parkboro. Is now being my role to maintain order in town area. Lately, Russian Mafia have been going too far. Nikita Dumchov is being killed in street. Viktor Teniev is being culprit. He is taking over Russian Mafia and driving Nikita's car. And you want the car for yourself? No, I am wanting car to blow up with Viktor Teniev inside. Sounds fun. Uh, where can I find the dead guy? Uh, the unfortunate victim. Victor is having a lot of guards. One of them will be knowing which car is his. Alright, let's go. This is like an assassination mission. Alright, so today we're an assassin. Assassin Crypto is on the case. Let's go. Alright, gotta find some clues. Victor Toniev is thinking he is so clever, hiding south of Kikbaksky village. Silly Joppa, everyone is hiding there these days. How far is this? Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay. Vicar is liking red, as always. His Karski is being so cherry. Why we are bothering? I am hearing there is other mafia in land of the... Vicar is always liking to park Karski, so he's looking at all other... Vicar is liking to retain Karski whenever he is bored. Today, I am thinking it is red, but tomorrow... Eh, who is knowing? Do not 
be worried, Victor. We will protect you. Be defending, Victor. Do not be touching Karski. Wait, Sonic Boom? Okay, so I need the... I need the saucer then. Alright. Mission complete, let's go. Right, now where's the next mission? We have a mission over here, so let's take the saucer to travel there faster. And what's the... I think this is the closest, yeah. Repeat, comrade. Get to the point, Sergei. I'm a busy Furon. I have a lead on Project Solaris. You might want to follow up on it. Project Solaris, huh? Okay, I'm listening. I have the name of the researcher in charge of the organic weapons program. His name is Dr. Orlov. And? No, and. That's it. Look, Ivan, let's cut the crap. We both want the same thing, and we can't both have her. True enough. But in this matter, Chujoy, we two are comrades. We both need to uncover the cancer devouring the heart of the Soviet Union. You got me there. But what about Natalia? Natalia is a glorious mare who will suffer no bridal. That is why we desire her. Poetic, yet creepy. Okay, so you got a name. Where am I supposed to find this Orlov guy? I have been unable to discover his current whereabouts. But this is a small town. Everyone knows everyone else's business. And I got one of those faces everybody opens up to. Although I doubt Orlov will be in a talky mood. Do what you have to do. Gee, that really means a lot coming from the KGB. Okay, just so there's no confusion, you want me to find Dr. Orlov, right? Exactly. He may have information on Project Solaris. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Okie dokie. Good luck, comrade. And don't be afraid to get a little rough, hmm? Well, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few Fabergé eggs. Okay. Oh, it's this location here. Okay. I am not living out by frozen leg. Crazy doctor out there, always running bizarre experiments. When any sensible person is knowing, science is nothing but smoke and mirrors to making peasants feel stupid. 
Now, where do I put newspaper? I must be checking horoscope before I am going to psychic. I was being out to northwest of here, hunting bears overnight. And I nearly was shooting this crazy scientist. Idiot had better be being more careful, or is liable to get big brain blown off. Dead monkeys tell no tales, and I need to pick this one's brain about Project Solaris. Crap. Better save his monkey.
There we go, got it. Dr. Orlov, I presume? How come you don't get cool punctuation like Dr. Go? I don't know what you're talking about. Looks like you had a little KGB infestation. Lucky I was here to exterminate him for you. Oh, was you? I'm impressed. Excellent hand-eye coordination. You should try computer game I've been developing in spare time. Games? On a computer? <laughs> You're wasting your time, Doc. So, Doc, you got a sec? I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, is all? I was afraid you were one of alien creatures here to infect me. Well, as you can clearly see, I'm no alien. <laughs> <clears throat> now, uh, about Project Solaris. Ah, Solaris, da. That I know something about. I worked on organic weapons program connected with Project Solaris. But I quit after I saw... very strange things. Define strange. Alien creatures like... Giant space lobsters infecting humans and manipulating their bodies like giant marionettes. Like that. I feared I might be next, so I started working on weapon to fight them with. It's probably why KGB attacked me. Or they wanted my Broadway soundtrack collection. You actually think the KGB was after your collection of show tunes? Why not? Fiddler first pressing alone worth 40,000 rubles on black market. 40,000? Geez, what is it with these currencies? Who runs your economy, Abby Hoffman? You are just jealous because I have copy of Hair, original off-Broadway soundtrack signed by Jerome Ragni. I don't even know what the hell that means. This weapon you were working on, uh, does it work? I don't know, I never finished it, whole thing happened by chance. I was walking to work one day when strange object fell from sky. It was fragment of alien spacecraft, computer data bank I used to create weapon. An alien artifact with data on the blisk will wonders never cease. Duh, and if you found it, perhaps you could use it to defeat creatures. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the picture. Where's this data thingy now? Should still be in the research facility in Gorodok Nauki. Um, uh, science town. Catchy. I guess I better head over there and find it before the Krabbies do. Take care, facility is well guarded. Good luck, Tovarish. Uh, what did you say name was? Uh, Kuriakin. Ilya Kuryakin, nice to meet you. Okay, I gotta search Science Town over here.
looking to work as guard at research facility. All those guys are doing is standing around all day and reading box scores from chess tournaments. Alright, so it should be around here somewhere. Many guards are guarding research facility in town. They must be guarding something very secret. I wonder what is being. Perhaps could be a toaster? Oh, would be very exciting. Paper clips, but I'm not finding any. In fact, I'm not finding office supplies of any sort. The scientists are only one for knowing where anything is kept around here. of weapon. I cannot wait to be shooting something with it. We got it. We got it. Crypto! That artifact is, in fact, a data core of incredibly advanced technology. It contains reams of 
vital information on our war with the Bliss for those millennia ago on Mars. Even better, I should be able to use its data on Blisk weaknesses to upgrade your weapons. So the next time you meet one, it'll be a crab leg special all you can eat. I'll continue this next time on more. Destroy all humans too. I'll continue this next time on Destroy All Humans 2. Reprobed. See you guys next time.